Hey guys, I wanted to hop on here really quick to let you guys know that I have officially reopened my Etsy shop. It is now called Digital Daydreams Co. And it will consist of digital planners, digital stickers, printables, and other digital templates. And if you have been with me for a while, you know that I used to sell like kawaii stickers on Etsy. And I will be offering those in digital form for you to either use on your digital planner or to print. Um, but those will be coming shortly. For right now, I have posted the new 2020 Digital Planner. This is a dated weekly vertical planner. It comes in both gray and pink. And the great thing about this planner is it has hyperlinks, which means it's interactive and you can click the tabs and other text and it'll bring you directly to that page. As stated earlier, this is a weekly planner. So the, the weekly and monthly spreads only contains June through December of 2020 since it is halfway through the year already. And for 2021, I will be releasing a um, updated version of this digital planner for next year so for this video I just wanted to show you guys what this digital planner has to offer I have officially switched over to digital planning so for future videos I will be featuring this planner a lot but yeah if you guys are new here I hope you guys consider subscribing to see future videos of me using my digital planner and also make sure to follow my new Instagram for my Etsy shop digital daydreams co and let's go ahead and get into the overview of what you get with this digital planner Alright, so I will be showing you guys the pink version, but again, like I stated, it does come in a gray version as well. And with the planner, you get a free cover page, which you can obviously change out if you want to. And I left it blank if you guys want to put any title in the front. The next page is the index page, which just gives you easier access to some of the other pages, such as like the yearly pages, the monthly overviews, um, the blank papers, such as blank, dotted, grid, line, and then double columned line. And then at the bottom, you get these custom sections for seven um, blank um, tabs that you can add your own inserts or templates into because I really wanted to provide that extra customization. The next page you get the year in overview so you get the whole 2020 all of the 12 months in some tiny calendars because I know it is nice to kind of look out further through the year or look back. Next up is the year in day review and this is a feature that I found in my new 2020 happy planner and I really really loved it so I wanted to include it in my digital planner and it's just great because it lists out all of the days in the months and the whole year and you can kind of put in really important dates or trips or stuff like that. The next page you get into the monthly overview and this page is just really simple. You get the whole calendar and then some lines at the bottom for extra space to put any notes. Right after the monthly spread, you go right into the weekly and for the weekly spread, I wanted to make it really compact so you can see everything while your iPad is vertical and not turned to the side. So in the middle section, you get Monday through Friday and then at the bottom, you get Saturday and Sunday. And then the top left, you did get a smaller calendar of that month and then a section for this week and then a habit tracker on the top right. And then after all the weekly pages for that month, it just moves right into the monthly spread of the next month and then right into the weekly. So let's go ahead and skip to the end right after December. So after the December spreads, you go right into the blank page and then the next page is the dotted page. And then you get the grid, you get the line, and you get the double line two columns. And these pages can easily be copied and repaste if you need more line pages or more grid pages or anything like that. The next seven pages are all hyperlinked up at the top and they're all empty so you can add your own inserts or own templates that you like and I will be doing a future video on how to add that which is really easy. You just have to add it as a PNG or as an image and then just make it fit into the empty page. One of these empty pages is also great to put any of your digital stickers which I do plan to use that heart tab as all of my stickers. The next few clips, I'm going to show you guys how the hyperlinks work. So I'm going to click the index tab and that'll bring me to the index page. And then I'm going to click the yearly overview text and that'll bring me to the yearly months um, of the 2020. And then all of these, you can click the uh, monthly text. So if I click June, it'll bring me to the June monthly spread. And then all of the dates on the monthly spreads, it'll bring you to that week. So if I click June 10th, which just happens to be my birthday, it'll bring you to 
that weekly spread you can also click the text of the month so for here i'll click june it'll bring me back to the monthly spread and then all of the tabs on the right side of june through december if you click those it'll bring you to the monthly spreads as well And then just a little tip to get out of the reading mode to actually start writing on your digital planner. Just click the reading mode icon at the top and then it will show you the toolbar where you can pick like your pen and marker and stuff like that. Last but not least, I just wanted to show you guys how you can customize one of those seven blank tabs. And so for number one, I'm just going to write budget because in the future I will be adding some budget um, inserts into that number one blank tab. So once I've written down that title, you can click that box and it'll bring you to that page of that blank um, tab. And you can just add whatever insert you want as a PNG or as a photo and just use it that way. Alright guys, that is it for this quick overview. I hope you guys enjoy it and are excited for my new Etsy shop because I have a lot of ideas I want to share with you guys. Please let me know down in the comments what you guys would like to see on my shop, what type of stickers and what type of inserts and stuff like that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys do check out my digital planner and try it out for yourself. I will be creating a lot of new videos in the future featuring this digital planner. Again, all links will be down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.